Hi, I'm Phyllis Southern Frugal.com. I wanted to do another little uh, quick video tonight on green leaf wilted salad. Now, I had several uh, people, I think it was a couple of men, that wrote in, or young men, and uh, asked if I knew how to make that salad. And I wrote back and said, no, I had never even heard of it before. And so I decided today to look that up on the internet and see how it was made, because I'd never heard of it before. Well, this is the same salad my grandmother made, exactly the same. And it's also very similar to a salad that we used to get at Steak and Ale. Only Steak and Ale used uh, baby spinach for the salad. My grandmother used regular salad. Uh, that she grew in her garden in the spring because in the summer in North Carolina it was really too hot back then to uh, grow lettuce. I mean it would just wilt in the sun. So I don't even remember what kind of lettuce she used but I do remember the onions. They were the spring onions and I've got some here. This is about six or eight spring onions all cut up and uh, I've already fried out the bacon. Now I fry my bacon in the oven. So I've got about three tablespoons of bacon grease now. I was looking at some of those recipes. They didn't cook the onions, but I remember grandmother always cooked those onions. So I'm gonna turn this down and we're gonna cook those onions. Not a whole lot, but we're gonna cook them some. So it's the green top onions. And you want to just cook them just a little bit. You don't want to like get them like real brown or anything. And again, this is it's probably three tablespoons of bacon grease. Now, sometimes my grandmother used fat back grease too. I was talking with my sister today about this, and uh, now she remembers this. I don't because I was. Uh, well, let me turn this up. We moved back to Virginia when I was getting ready to go in the second grade. And, excuse me, onions are already getting to me. Uh, so we moved back, and uh, so my memory is not as good as my sister's memory, because she was uh, almost two and a half years older than me. But um, she said that uh, Grandma would actually crumble up some of the crisp fat back and put it in the salad also. So anyway, I've got my uh, green leaf uh, salad that I got at the grocery store and just broke it all up. And again, I don't really think this is the kind that uh, Grandma used, but we're going to use it because that was the only, the closest thing would be this. So we're just going to cook these uh, little spring onions, green top onions, some people call them. And we're not going to cook it that much. Now the other thing, I cook my uh, bacon in the oven. Right, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off right now. And uh, it leaves a little, a lot of brown stuff in the bottom of the skillet. I mean the bottom of the pan I use. I use an oven broiling pan to cook my bacon. Let me go get it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's, can y'all see that? A lot of the little brown uh, parts of the bacon that cook off in the pan. And what I've done is add a couple of tablespoons, maybe three, to the pan along with a little water. And I'm going to dump that right in the grease now. Just like that. And now we're going to dump it right over the salad greens. And this is what my grandmother did the way she made it. And this was back, oh, probably about 1948, 1949, somewhere like that. Because it's hot, then it's going to wilt some of that down. Not a whole lot now, but some. You just want to mix it all around while it's still hot. And that actually needs a little more grease, so 
turn this back on. See, I didn't have but that much uh, bacon grease because it's very lean bacon. But we're just going to go ahead and use all of it. Now I'm warming up some of the pull-apart bread I made the other day. Only I'm actually toasting one side of it. Let me get this grease hot again. All right, let me get back. So um, instead of pulling it apart, I actually cut it in slices and uh, froze it. And so it looks more like a slice of bread now. But I'm going to uh, serve that with this salad. And this is all we're having because we've already had our big meal of the day much earlier. And I think Mr. Buffy is trying to find us a movie. At least I hope he is. I'm going to actually add a little more oil to this. And you need it very hot. Yeah, I can remember smelling this in my grandmother's kitchen when she was cooking it. But I told my sister, I cannot remember the greens. I just do not remember that. And I would have had to have either been in kindergarten or the first grade. So anyway, my sister thought I should be able to remember that, but I just don't. I do remember the smell, though. All right, we're going to get this grease really hot. All right, we're about ready to dump it in now. Yeah, now the bacon is so lean. Let me show you what it looks like. It's so lean that you don't have that much grease anymore. All right, got it smoking now. That ought to be good enough. So we're just going to dump it in now. There you go. That's what it needs to sound like when you dump it in. Turn the burner off. And it just wilts it down. Not a whole lot, but it's going to wilt it down some. All right, I'm going to get this in the bowls, put a little bacon on top, get the bread out from being toasted, and we'll be ready to eat this. So we'll be back in just a minute. There goes my toaster. All right, I've got our salads ready, and the bread's been toasted. I just toasted it on one side. But I wanted to share this with you because my uh, sister said when she makes this, uh, she's always on a diet, y'all. I'm telling you, she's always on a diet. But uh, she uses olive oil and she doesn't use the bacon. Uh, she does use the uh, onions, but she does not cook them. She puts them in raw. And uh, what she does is heats up, uh, I think she said half a cup of olive oil real hot. She does it in the microwave and just pours it over. And her and her husband eat that, and they, they, they say it's really, really good. So anyway, that's her version. I guess this is my version. And I'll show you all what it looks like. All right, hold on. All right, there's the plate. There's Mr. Bucky's plate, and there's the bread. I toasted it on one side. This is that pull-apart bread I cut. See, it, it's, it will definitely pull apart. But I went ahead and cut it in uh, slices and so I could freeze it. And there's my plate with the crispy bacon on top. And we're ready to have our little, I guess you'll call this supper. It's, what, 8 o'clock at night or so? Anyway, our tea's already in there. Mr. Bucky's found us a nice movie to watch tonight. So we're going to spend some time together and watch a movie and eat our little salad. And let me say, I think this is going to be filling just because of all of the uh, fat in it. That's what I'm thinking anyway. All right, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Bye for now.